Alright, so today I'll be doing problem 3.25. Uh, you can pause the video here and read the problem and take a second to think how you would solve it. So first we need to find uh, the radial acceleration of objects at the equator. And we have obviously how long a day is and uh, the radius of the Earth. And we know v squared over r is equal to radial acceleration. But what is v? v is equal to 2 pi, because that's the circumference of a circle, sorry, times r times f, which is how many times it goes around in a certain amount of time. And one more thing you need to know is f is equal to 1 over t because we don't have frequency, we have period, how long it takes the Earth to rotate one time. So we need to use period instead of frequency. So, rewriting this top equation, you get pi r over t squared. For r, not sure why I wrote 2, but r is correct, is equal to a. So, Expand that, do a little cancellation. All right, then you just calculate that and you get your radial acceleration at the equator, which when you plug in the numbers is equal to 0 0.034 meters per second squared. And now the book also wants it as a fraction of g. So just Divide that number by g, which is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared, which will give you something like acceleration at the equator is greater than g, objects will fly off the Earth's surface and into space. What would the period of the Earth's rotation have to be for this to occur? Well, once again, we'll be using v squared over r, but this time we'll set it equal to g, because, and then we'll know anything greater than what we get will be enough for objects to fly off the equator. So, once again, we have 2 pi r over t 
squared for r this time it's equal to g and this time we want to solve for t okay so multiplying that out again you know what we're gonna get we'll do it anyway You can see that. Um, anyway, we'll continue up here. So to solve for T, just move some stuff around. to t. And when you solve that, you get about 5,000 seconds. About 5,000 seconds. Convert that back into hours. You get about one point four hours. So if the Earth rotated any faster than this, objects at the equator would just fly off into space.